In 2021, I altered 52 playing cards in 52 days. This year, I'm completely redoing a deck of cards, only one card per week. Last year, this was the seventh card I did, the one on the left, likely my least favorite of the entire deck. This year, I am utilizing the same components, modeling paste, a metal trinket, and redoing this card, and I am much happier with this year's version of the card than I was with last year's. My name is Peg, and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a minute, subscribe to my channel. I like to put out videos that are concise, to the point, don't take a tremendous amount of your time, and I like to show you what I'm going to do, show you how I did it, and I'll show you once again what I did at the end. If you want to find me in other places along the web, I am redoing my website, so it's a work in progress. I have a Facebook group over at Two Old Crows Mixed Media, and I'm not real consistent on Instagram, but I am trying. So this is the Seven of Spades, and this is the card that we are going to redo. I'm starting with this old book that I love to use the pages out of. It's aged. It, the pages are very brittle, and this is likely the only way that I can use them is to use them in collage. So I'm positioning the page, trying to still continue to show the denomination of the card I've decided in this year's deck, I want the card to show on every single piece. I'm just gluing this page down and we'll trim around the edges and that will be our foundation. So now with that done, I did a collage session a few days ago, and I'm pulling out some of those papers that I created, and I think I would like to use some of this gel press printed collage paper on my card. And if you want to catch up with the gel press printing series, I have a playlist, I'll link it up above, to all the different gel press videos I've created. This was a collage paper just created with two stencils and three colors. So we'll glue that down. Trim around the outside edge. And I'm using the same sheet of collage paper, only I'm looking for a variation in color or using collage paper from the same session, looking for a little variation in color to add just some additional interest onto the front of this card. So I like this particular piece, but I'd like to break it up. And I'm pulling in a remnant of that page when we glued the page down to the foundation of the card or to create the foundation for this card. I want to glue this into place now. Once again, just breaking up the color with the remnant of the book page. And now that that is down and into place, I want to punch a hole in the card and position this gear over the top of that hole. So I'm defining where I would like that to go. Take a, just a pencil, a, you know, a mechanical pencil and draw through the circle of that hole so I know where to punch. I have a three-quarter inch hole punch that I'm just 
placing over the top of the card and punching that hole. And that gear will fit nicely over the top and that will define that little portal, if you will, or window, if you will. And now to determine what I'd like to peek through, I think this particular gel press is not enough contrast. So I shall pull out a, another piece from that printing session where I used a lighter background. And I think that will look much nicer. I have decided what particular part I want to peek through, gluing up the card, and I shall just glue this card down on top of this gel press print, and we'll trim around the outside edges and neaten it up. And once that dries, that will be firmly in place on the back of the card. Now I want to add some modeling paste. Do you remember in that last year's card, it was covered in modeling paste too much. So I've taken my texturing paste or modeling paste, whatever you want to call it, and I am combining it with some copper acrylic paint. I'm just mixing that in to the texture paste and I make my own texture paste so I'll link the video above that you can get that recipe for the texture paste. It's just a simple baby, I use either baby powder or cornstarch when I'm making it and I like to use the unscented baby powder. But in any event, the link is up above. And I want to test this before I put it on the card because the acrylic paint does thin it quite a bit and I want to make sure I haven't thinned it too much with the paint. So I'm just going to print it on this piece of cardboard, let it dry and make sure that it is firming up nicely. And it it has. So going to go ahead and draw that texture paste through this stencil. And I'm just using an old hotel key card to draw my paste through the stencil and a baby wipe to wipe off any areas that I don't want that paste that I may have gotten a little aggressive through the uh, stencil. And I shall let that dry and that paste to set up. In the meantime, I'm going to glue this gear into place over the top of the hole that was punched. And there. I think that looks nice. And while I'm waiting for that texture piece to completely cure, I'm going to take a moment and go around the outside edge of the card with this black stays on ink or black ink. And it just kind of frames it in. Now that the texture paste is dry, I'm outlining it with my Stabilo All pencil. So I'll get it all outlined and then take a little bit of moisture on my finger and kind of smudge that into place. And that is a very simple, easy card to complete. I think it would make a great looking journaling card in a journal. I personally am putting a grommet in the top center and the bottom center, and I am hanging them vertically in my studio window this year. But 
last year's version versus this year's version. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty happy with the 2022 and uh, kind of glad to get that 2021 behind me. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you'll stay with me as I completely redo this deck. I am hashtagging it full deck redo 2022. If you would like to show me what 